slowly lower the movement until it's in beat. That sounds pretty good there. Put a hole in the bottom so we can just put a screw into it. Right, I'll put a second screw in up here to hold the movement. Put it back. That's relatively close to being in beat. Well, looks like we've sorted the problem with the escape wheel. It's running smoothly now. Now we'll set up the rack and snail to the correct time. Pendulum is swinging freely now. So I'm just adjusting the rack and snail to find out what time we've got. Turn that another half an hour. I've got to use the pliers because uh, the minute hand is too long. One, two, three o'clock. That notch is one, two, three. Run it again for half an hour. Going into warning. Half an hour. Turn it again. Going into warning. One, two, three, four o'clock. Right, we can now set the hands. We now know what the time is. I'll take it off the test stand. We'll put the hands on it and then we'll look at it again. Right, we'll now put the snail on and then the hands and then test it again. Now we're looking for the fourth step. One, Two, three, four. That's four o'clock. One, two, three, four. Three, four. Now we'll put the hands on. Four o'clock for the hour hand. In the minute hand. Nut on again. Tighten it down. Now we'll turn the hands round and make sure that the rack up here drops well half hour first we'll drop once we turn it up gone into warning one two Three, four, five, six, seven o'clock. We'll now take the hands off the movement 
We put the movement back into the clock, put the face on, then the hands, and then we'll check it again with the chime. Right, we'll check the time. We've got eight. Wind the hand round. Pass. There we go. Wind that up. Wind it up. Warning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 